Hey, coach, has got a quick video for you this week. We're going to go over our uh, RPO, which we call Lightning Thunder. And uh, it's, it's the identical, it's a stick uh, RPO. And it's, uh, we run the identical route to, to what we were running last week with our 10 and 11 video. And, uh, but, we, but we attached the RPO to it. Uh, was pretty successful this year. Uh, got some good clips for you. Uh, had some trouble with it in the playoffs and and probably going to look to to make a few adjustments to it next year. But, but let's go ahead and look at it real quick. This is what we're talking about. The route itself, this is identical. If we were going to call uh, our stick route out of uh, trips, this would be called slot right 10. If we were just running, if we were going to pass pro this thing, this would be slot right 10. When we do it as an RPO, we call it thunder. Uh, we read the first guy inside of the stick route as our, as our indicator whether we're going to run pass. Uh, on this backside, we're running a gift. And this is probably, this backside is probably what we're going to take a look at next year. Uh, to do something different with whether we're going to run the slant, the, the fade, uh, have a have a, a option route back there. We're probably going to do something different on this side. Uh, our coaching point for the tackle uh, on the on the wristband for the O line, it said uh, it didn't say thunder to them. It said twenty four P, which P stood for pass. So that just indicated to all these guys, we did not want them going more than three yards downfield. And what that translated in for this pooler was, uh, you know, when you're, when you're eyeballing up this play side backer, uh, if he's standing back, stop. If he's coming forward, now you can block him. You know, that was our big indicator because a good coached up linebacker, he's going to trigger on, on that pass, you know, on, on this run read that he's getting. And that would, that would tell the guy to go ahead and block him. But if he was standing back there or if he was dropping, then he would just stop right here in the hole until he got a go call from, from the running back. So uh, that's what the play looks like. Now let's, uh, Let's go ahead and look at the clips. I've got uh, I've got six clips here plus a uh, I just added in one from uh, from a regular run game. So this is slot right thunder. I'm gonna put this in slow motion. Slot right thunder. He's reading the first guy inside of the stick, and you see it was just such a clean read right there. So let me run that back. So against this look, and we got, this was a common look for us in trips that uh, even though they had two safeties here, most people were going to put the free safety over top of number three. They were going to put this guy at very in depth over top number two. Uh, but we would, we were reading this guy as far as the quarterback went. So let's play it again. He's seeing run. He steps forward. Just an easy completion and turned out to be a pretty good play right there. That was third and four, and it was an easy first down. Here's one closer to the goal line. Same thing, slot right thunder. Again, we're reading this guy. The, the, guy, the first guy inside of the stick route is the one we're reading. Here we go in slow motion. Same thing. He gets a run read. Easy throw and catch. And Huddle says we got four yards, but I think we got a few more. All right, here was the one from the playoffs. This is at the beginning. Now, this is a little bit of a tight copy. Uh, our wide copy didn't pick this up, but here we go. So you saw even, and this, this, uh, this Mike Backer here, this cat right here was special. Uh, but even though he just hangs, we get the window we're looking for right up here. And just an easy throw and catch, easy 11-yard gain, and a first down. Here it is, lightning. Uh, I think that last one was thunder. So, obviously, thunder to the right, lightning to the left. 
Same read, same easy completion, and another good gain off of it. One more time. Now, this was the team that did, this was the playoff game, and this team did end up, uh, they started giving us trouble because this guy just started standing there and he jumped up and tipped a couple of them and that ended up giving us trouble. But uh, for the most part, uh, it's just an easy, easy throw and catch for the, for the uh, quarterback and running back. That was off of a freeze. You see, actually, we got that one tipped right there. We still got the complete. But that guy jumped up and tipped it. And I don't, this shouldn't have been this much of an issue. See, to me, that was our mistake because this, this left pulling guard should be tattooing this guy right now. I don't know why he was trying to dip inside of him. I don't know why that happens right there. Uh, this should be a full speed guard knocking the crap out of this guy. And then this, this pulling tackle should be the one fitting up in here. So this was pilot error as far as I'm concerned. This should have been an easy throw and catch, uh, but we were making it more difficult on ourselves than we needed to. And then I threw, I threw this one in because this is, uh, and, and we had quite a few of these in this game. And you see the depth here, and and Larry Roger was just an easy throw and catch during this game. This was one of those defenses they didn't care if we threw it. They were just they were very good tacklers, and they were going to run up and and make the tackle for uh, for very very little gain. But this is one of those times where the quarterback looks out here. He likes it. He says that's two on one. If we block this guy. We, we've got an easy cushion right here. So even though the counter is called, the quarterback whips it out there to the Roger. And then, well, Hull says that was a five-yard gain, but that, that looks like a, about a three-yard gain. But I just liked, I liked the, uh, when the quarterback is starting to pepper it around, you know, when he's looking out there, remember that's a pre and a post snap read for the quarterback. So if he looks out there and says, I like that, then he can just throw it out there. That time the quarterback, I mean, the corner came up and made a, a, a quick tackle for, you know, a gain of just a couple, but you know, in our, in our book, and, and I had a guy on messenger contact me today and said, well, what do you, what do you call good play? And, uh, he was going by uh, yards per attempt, which is obviously a good way of doing it. But when I'm my base way is if I look out there and we've got, if we're making three yards on a run, I'm calling that a good play. And I, I use the same metric for quick screens. If, if screens are making three plus, then I'm calling that a good play because that's one we're just hammer. We'll pepper that over and over and over again. And same with the counter, you know, we call them getting the ugly yard. Some nights it's uh, it's three yards at a time. Well, you know, three plus three is nine and we know we're going to go for it on fourth and one. So we think that's a, that's a, a good, we're moving the ball effectively if we can make three yards. So anyway, so that's it. Uh, like I said, we're going to, we're going to make some adjustments to this RPO, but this was the only true RPO we had this year. And it was just the, the thunder and lightning with the, with the stick RPO. We didn't throw it a ton, maybe 10 times all year, but uh, for the most part, it was a, a pretty good play until, until we started getting things tipped in the playoffs. Uh, but again, I think that was pilot error. That was not uh, a problem with the scheme. It was for some reason we weren't tattooing that guy and we were allowing him to get his hands up and get involved in that play. All right, coaches, uh, please do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, share. And remember, uh, I think we got a release date uh, of uh, December 15th on the, on the, uh, on the coach tube course and uh, get really working through that right now, getting excited about getting that out there. Uh, and and uh, thank you. Thank you, man.